You'll be back like before, but from you to be will teach you more. Ice cream s'mores, volcanoes too. We will oxidize an apple with you. We tell jokes, they are bad. But we're the best science teachers you ever had. We can't wait to see you soon, but we'll bring you videos every Friday. Light refraction is some kind of complicated. It's actually pretty simple. Refraction just means that there's a change in the direction of the waves because the wave changes speed. In this case, we're going to be talking about light waves. But how does the speed change? Is it in like a rush to like get somewhere? <laughs> no, it's actually because it goes through a substance and since the substance is more dense, it'll make the light wave appear to bend. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so let's get started with our experiments for today. For the first one, you'll need a water bottle with water in it, <laughs> a marker, and post-it notes or other pieces of paper. <laughs> so first you're gonna draw a simple picture on your sticky note and make sure that it's not symmetrical. Um, this way you can see uh, how it changes when it's in front of the water bottle or behind the water bottle. All right, I'm gonna draw something that will be really clear to see and then do you wanna see if you can challenge yourself? Yeah, I'm just gonna draw something weird looking. Okay. And then we'll see the differences. All right, so while Natalie's still drawing, I drew two arrows. So this way you'll be able to tell when it flips. I'm drawing the knot, but I'm giving it a hat. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> we really love the knot, in case you guys didn't Yeah, know. we really do. <laughs> and I'm giving it some hands. <laughs> and some legs. Um, and maybe like some eyes. And some eyebrows. And maybe like a mouth. All right, there we go. Okay. Oh, that looks really good. Thank you. A little bit symmetrical, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Well, we want to see the differences. I also have a different one right here that's not symmetrical, so that works out. All right. All right, so then you're going to fill up your water bottle if it's not already full and put the lid on just so you don't spill it. And then you're going to take your sticky note and put it behind. And then you're going to gradually move the water bottle in front of the sticky note and observe what happens. So we're going to do mine first. So you see the top arrow is pointing towards Natalie. So right here, it looks like it's pointing towards me. Oh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Right, let's try yours. All right, so I'm gonna do my not symmetrical blob first. This is what it looks like. And then. Huh, wow. Yeah, so it looks similar, but. You can, can tell see, with the arms, because yeah. they go in different directions. I mean, it's kind of hard. We'll take other videos yeah. so you can see it closer, but the other, the arms seem to. Change position. And then I'll do right, let's try knot. Your this is my knot. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, so that didn't change because it's symmetrical. So, but okay, it, it looks, still looks really cool. Thank you. And I like that it has a face. Yeah. And arms. All right. So those changes are pretty cool. Does that all happen because of density? Well, don't forget about the light. The light is concentrated onto one point, which is called the focal point. And when the light passes through the denser liquid, in this case the water, um, it reaches the focal point and then that causes the rays to cross over each other and make your picture look backwards. Awesome. So maybe you guys at home can try writing words and seeing what they look like backwards or trying to write words backwards and then like yeah. see what they, you know, try to see the actual word. That's a great <laughs> idea. Maybe you can send us pictures of them and we can guess what it is. There you go. All right. Are you ready to do another experiment with light refraction? There's more. Oh my gosh. Refraction is so much fun. Yep, so for experiment two, you'll need a drinking straw or a pen. So we have a pen, and then we have a drinking straw here somewhere as well. I think it might have fallen. Oh, wait, it's right here. <laughs> All right, straw. so we have our straw. You're going to need water again, and then a clear glass or water bottle also works. 
All you need to do for this one is to put the water in your glass or bottle and put the straw in. Um, to start, you're going to put it straight up and down and then slowly tilt the straw and you should see something pretty cool. So yeah. we're going right, to try so that now. All right. So first just put it in. <laughs> All right. So it's just a... Okay. All right, so right now it's going straight up and down, and then I'm going to tilt it. All right, yeah. And it looks bent. It looks like it's separated yeah. from the top. <laughs> yeah, I want to cool. see if you can see it in this, but I don't know. Yeah, you can't really see it because you have to see the surface of the water, which is hard to see on this video. But we'll put in the video Natalie's taking on the phone. Yeah. Okay, so why does it look like the pen broke at the surface of the water? Well, it's pretty much the same thing that we did um, in the first experiment. The light bends when it hits the water because of the difference in density. So the straw looks like it broke, or the pen in this case looks like it broke. Yeah. And if you look at it from different angles, you'll be able to see the pen differently. So it might look bent instead of broken. This is because the light is coming from a location very close to the surface of the water, and the light bends so much that the surface works kind of like a mirror, so it makes the straw look like it bent in half. So let's see if we can see it. If you move it around, or let's look at it from upside up, not upside down, because I don't want to spill water everywhere. It kind of looks different. And also, but I don't know if this is happening for you guys, but our pen looks a little bit magnified when it's in the water. Yeah, the bottom yeah. half definitely looks um, larger than yeah. the top half. Yeah, you know so much about refraction, Rebecca. It's refracting me out. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was pretty bad. Oh no. <laughs> all right, so I'm molecule one. I'm molecule two. And yeah, okay, so, oh no, I just left an electron. Are you sure? I'm positive. Ah. <laughs> all right, we're not molecules anymore. Now we're just Rebecca and Natalie. <laughs> yep. All right, why do tigers have stripes? So they don't get spotted. Uh, how do you cut the C in half? With a seesaw. Ah, <laughs> yay! Hey, Natalie, do you want to hear my construction joke? Sure. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still working on it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh that's all for this week. We hope you guys enjoyed and answer the questions at the end. See you. See you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Next week. Bye. Bye.